Okay, this is probably the most exciting episode build up of the series so far. This is Windbreaker episode 7 and it seems like we're going to get the fight that we've been waiting for. Our main character Sakura is finally stepping up and fighting our boy uh, Togame, Joe Togame, I think is his name. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see it. I can't wait because I didn't really know what to expect. I talked about it in the previous videos, but it really could go either way. He could, he could win and you know, we go forward with the story from there to prove that like Sakura is, excuse me, Sakura and Bofurian sort of like whole, uh, their whole vibe, their whole culture is healthy and, and been much better than what the others have going on. Um, or he could lose and it gives our character room to grow, places to go, things to aspire to. So I don't know, generally in series like this, you humble the character pretty early on, but are they gonna do that this time? Or are they going to wait a little bit to humble him? Or are they never gonna humble him? I don't know. Let's just watch the damn show. This is episode seven. Make sure to support this video on this channel if you can, liking, commenting, subscribing. I have a Patreon account if you want the full length versions of the reactions and early access. Um, and exclusive videos, and I have a Gen Watches One Piece channel. If you like One Piece, go check that out as well. Here we go, episode seven of Windbreaker. Oh my god, walking with flip flops in the rain, in like mud. What the fuck? What's going on there? Othello kun? Othello kun, oops. <laughs> yeah, man! He'll be right. He'll be right, don't worry. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, he's got the glasses off. And he threw him. Okay, here we fucking go. Oh, what a stance. Let's one arm hang. Oh, jeez. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay, we weren't expecting that. But good job getting out of it quickly. Is there a butt coming? Yeah. それだけの力があるからなんだよ。ゆっくりがいつは it's okay, Sakura, you got this. Okay. Oh! oh! Nice hit! Oh, he's enjoying it. Oh! Oh, God. I wonder if he wears those, not for tradition, but to hurt people more. Nice. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that's disgusting! No way, no way, no way. Oh god. Oh, I like how they faded out the crowd when he was talking about when he's alone. Yes! Break his fucking arm! Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> that double kick was sick! Oh, the music! Oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh my god, Sakura's movements are so cool. <laughs> he's pissed off that he's so good. Oh! 
I love the way he uses his whole body in every move. Oh, oh God. Could have broken his ribs there. He might have. Man, it's shocking to me these people have pride in their school. Oh, God. It's not over yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, none of this is power. Oh! What happened? They're showing it from a different angle for a reason. Oh, he didn't hit his head. Huh? What? He's going to these guys? <laughs> oh, he's going to settle it. Oh my god. Yeah, he really didn't know the full story. Jesus. Don't love this, though. He's taking off their jackets. Mom, <laughs> Is Tagami gonna like forfeit because? Oh my god. Holy shit, we're already half over. <laughs> Where are we cutting to? Is this a flashback? Is this a Togame based flashback? Ba fla pe be Never mind. So this was before he was in this school? You got recruited here. Oh, they joined around the same time. <laughs> He's a very cute guy for being like maybe a monster. <laughs> oh. Well, this is nice, except for the shit where you beat your own guys up relentlessly when they make a mistake. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like a Luffy from One Piece way of thinking. I mean, you two could be like nice, cool protagonists. <laughs> he, he is actually a lot like Luffy now that I think about it. Look how, like, sweet he seemed to them. <laughs> you, were, you were happy with how things were, I imagine. He's that extrovert friend that can bring all the introverts together. <laughs> Hmm. But? Well, the weather is telling you it's going to be ominous. Oh, no. Now he's... Like, there's nowhere to go anymore. So if I'm free, I can do whatever I want. Hmm. So, he, I mean, he loved the pursuit of the top. And then lost the drive when he got the top. Which we knew already, but we're seeing it again. Oh no. Here's where Choji's gonna like attack the weak one, right? Oh god. It was no longer about defending them, it was about making us responsible for our own weakness instead of other people responsible for attacking us. It sucks how, like, Togame is seeing how horrifying this is. But now he's doing that in modern day. Oh. This is really interesting, though. Whoa. He's got the blue lock, guys. Oh. That makes sense. So he's being the bad guy because he wants 
chose you to keep being the ah uh... damn man that sucks what an interesting backstory they gave him <laughs> No, no way it's ending. No! Damn it! Well, that was a a great episode. That m might have been my favorite of the whole series so far. I think it was. Um, it had a great fight scene at the start, and then a great backstory that really recontextualizes Togame completely. So, like, I don't think he's a good guy because like he's still doing horrible stuff right but it's that he's like a tragic character now rather than just being a douche because like he's doing that because he doesn't know how else to keep the um this idea of what he he loves and respects and what changed his life in his life which is choji who um is like a very delightful like fun happy loving kind of guy who cares about his teammates and always like talks people up and and uh is like super exciting and always excited about what's next like that personality is something that he really looked up to and loved and felt it was so special and he didn't want to lose that and then when Cho choji got to the top he realized that it wasn't enough and he needed to like get other people up to his level and the only way he wanted to do that was to punish those who were weak so because Tagame didn't want to like live in this like will be in this school and be among these people but watch his hero basically do these horrible things he said look you just keep being you and the loving person so that I can still have like such a great friend but let me do all of the, this horrible stuff because I don't care about myself as much like he it's it's almost like a complete self hatred that he has where it's like he doesn't hit himself the idea of him the idea of what he does and who he is doesn't matter to him which is very sad but yeah because of that he only cares about who Choji is and who Choji presents as and um, and what that does for, for the school and for the spirit. So he will be the villain. And that's really good because, I mean, out of those two, like, he was coming across as the major villain. Whereas, like, Choji was like, okay, yeah, clearly this guy's kind of messed up, but he's, like, happy and fun and stuff. But it's actually his ideas and his morals and stuff that are the reason all of this is happening togame doesn't want to do that he even said in that scene like that won't make them stronger he agrees that that's a, it's a bad idea but he he doesn't really have i mean just for like funnily enough they're talking about like those who are the most powerful are the freest choji is the most powerful so he's the most free he's the one who can do what he wants togame Funnily enough, doesn't have enough. He's the second person, the highest person. He doesn't have enough power to change things. So he's not free. He's actually trapped in this, like, I either have to, like, I'm, I either have to give up on the person that I care about the most, like, and what, what I look up to them for, or, um, I have to, uh, or I have to be the bad guy and he'd rather be the bad guy. So, yeah, wow, that's like, that's a really interesting take on these characters. I love it. And I love the, uh, I love the potential that gives us because, like, Sakura and, um, and what's his name? Uh, Umemia could, like, take them both down and therefore be the top, which will maybe give Choji something more to strive for. And also prove that, you know, like his his thinking is flawed. And if his thinking is flawed, then maybe he'll go back to like striving for high goals without punishing punishing people, you know? I don't know. 
but it's really cool. It's really, really cool. This just, it just knocked the whole story up a notch, I think, that backstory. That was really well done. I loved it. Um, and I mean, yeah, the fight scene was awesome. It's just, I love the, the animation of all of these fights and the way Sakura moves. It, he's just, he's got such a dynamic fighting style. He uses his whole body. He like does handstands and cartwheels and flips, <laughs> but like in a very natural fluid way. He doesn't do it like a circus performer. He does it like as like a really nice, like, like he understands his body. That's what it is, you know? Like he knows what where every part of his body is, exactly how long his arms are, um, exactly how much power he can gain from doing certain movements. He's just like, he, he seems to work on instinct, but really, really well. So it's just, it's amazing. That was just a great episode overall. The bit where Togami smashed his face against the ground was brutal, <laughs> but um, but yeah, it, I I love it. I absolutely love it. So that is uh, is Windbreaker episode seven. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to support the channel if you can, liking, commenting, subscribing. Go to my Patreon account for full length early access and exclusive videos. Go to my Gen Watches One Piece channel for One Piece content, and go and check out some other videos on this channel immediately. Just see what sort of videos you like, and if you do like them. Um, stick around. Hopefully you enjoy more stuff on this channel, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.